How lethal is a shotgun? Shotguns are effective, simple, and easy to handle weapons. Their presence is intimidating, there's nothing more terrifying than the sound of a pump-action shotgun suggesting a cartridge is loaded and ready to fire. They are indispensable tools in combat and useful in non-lethal situations, such as breaching doors in police or military operations, or for crowd control. However, despite their utility and diverse applications, many myths and a general lack of understanding surround this weapon which is both simple and complex. That's why I've dedicated myself to researching its history and the science behind its mechanism. In this video, we'll uncover what makes shotguns so lethal. Quick trivia. What is the most widely produced and sold shotgun in history? Remington 1100, Mossberg 500, Remington 870, or Benelli M4? You'll find the correct answer as you watch this video. History of Shotguns The first shotgun widely used in warfare was the Blunderbuss, a muzzle-loading firearm with a short, flared barrel. This weapon was adopted by European regiments such as those from Britain, Prussia, and Austria in 1781. British General John Burgoyne equipped his regiment of light dragoons with blunderbusses during the American Revolutionary War, where they proved highly effective. Later, it was used in the U.S. intervention in Mexico. The blunderbuss was a significant advancement in the evolution of firearms, marking an important step towards the development of the modern shotgun. The first significant military use of shotguns was during the Philippine insurrection following the Spanish-American War of 1898, where U.S. troops faced the Moros in close-quarters combat. The shotgun was perfect for these short-range engagements and the U.S. Army acquired around 200 Winchester Model 1897 shotguns for use in the Philippines. Although the Model 1897 shotgun is commonly associated with military use, it was just one of many models that served the U.S. Army over the years. Its effectiveness was demonstrated on a large scale during World War I, where its compact firepower was ideal for clearing enemy trenches, earning nicknames like Trench Gun and Trench Sweeper. These weapons caused so much fear that in September 1918 the German government lodged a diplomatic protest, arguing that their use violated the laws of war. During World War II the use of shotguns expanded further, with models from Winchester, Remington, Savage, Stevens, and Ithaca being used in the war effort. They were perfect for the jungle terrain where troops often fought. By the end of the war, around half a million shotguns had been purchased for military use. In later conflicts, such as those of the Cold War, shotguns remained essential, especially in jungle-covered terrains. In the 1950s, the British Army found shotguns very useful in Malaya, acquiring thousands of Remington shotguns. In the first decade of the 21st century, the use of shotguns in combat has not diminished but increased. U.S. troops in Iraq used them both for combat and for breaching doors and entering buildings. Many modern armed forces also employ them in hostile shipboarding operations, where close quarters combat is almost certain. Although shotguns are less common in military use compared to rifles, carbines, submachine guns, or pistols, they remain an important tool. A shotgun is correctly defined as a firearm designed to be fired from the shoulder, using the energy of a fixed shell to fire either shot pellets or a solid projectile called a slug. They come in a wide range of operating mechanisms, including pump action, semi-automatic, and even automatic. The lethality of a shotgun is subjective and depends on various factors, such as the gun's caliber, the type of load, and the distance to the target. Shotguns come in several calibers, with 12-gauge being the most common, although 10, 16, 20, 28, and other gauges also exist. An interesting fact is that the smaller the gauge number, the larger the bore diameter. The 12 gauge is the most widely used and its muzzle velocity is more than double that of a powerful .44 Magnum revolver. The effective range of a shotgun with standard shot is limited to about 20 to 30 meters, although some advanced sporting shotguns can reach up to 45 meters. Some shooters have even achieved hits at over 90 meters, which is impressive given the average ranges shotguns typically achieve. The basic science behind shotgun lethality lies in the spread of the shot pellets as they exit the barrel, causing the power of the load to be divided among them. The disadvantages of a shotgun shot are its limited range and penetration, which make it more effective at close range and generally against smaller targets. 
To illustrate this, one can compare a shotgun to a can of spray paint and a rifle to a marker. As long as the target is within its effective range, a shotgun offers a better chance of making a critical hit with a single shot. When analyzing how a shotgun can stop a human, three main methods are identified. First, pain. The first and least reliable method is through pain. If the attacker experiences enough pain, they may stop their attack. Although not always effective, the pain inflicted by a shotgun is significant. Second, blood loss. The second method is through blood loss. The multiple projectiles from a shotgun can cause massive wounds or multiple smaller wounds, leading to significant damage. Third, shot placement. The most effective way to stop an attacker is by properly placing shots in vital areas of the body such as the heart and lungs. With a shotgun and the right ammunition, 9 to 16 pellets can hit these areas, making it very unlikely for all of them to miss. As for the trivia, the most widely produced and sold shotgun in history is the Remington Model 870. Introduced in 1950, it has become the best-selling shotgun of any type, with over 11 million units produced for hunters, sportsmen, police, and military. This shotgun has been a ubiquitous tool in home defense for decades, recommended by many experts as the primary choice for personal defense. A report from the U.S. Joint Services Combat Shotgun Program highlighted that the likelihood of hitting a man-sized target with a shotgun is higher than with any other weapon. According to the report, a shotgun has a 45% greater probability of hitting the target than a submachine gun and twice that of an assault rifle. This has led to its widespread use in guerrilla warfare and other forms of asymmetric warfare. For instance, in his book Guerrilla Warfare 1960, Che Guevara recommended the use of sawed-off shotguns and heavy ammunition for urban guerrillas due to their effectiveness against unarmored troop transport vehicles. Sawed-off shotguns are firearms with shortened barrels, making them easier to conceal and giving them a wider shot pattern due to the faster spread of pellets. However, while they are easier to handle and hide, sawed-off shotguns are less accurate and not necessarily more powerful. That's all for now. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Without further ado, my name is The Tale of the Past, this is Time Voyagers, and I wish you an excellent day.